Okay, so this will be a process of changing out the filament on the Dremel Digilab 3D45 3D printer. So, what we got to do is we got to first cut the filament right at the top of the extruder here. It's a direct drive extruder. Cut it right there. We're going to change out this Dremel branded Eco ABS filament for this hatchbox PLA. So we'll go in here and we'll go to the home screen, go to filament, change filament. And it's advising to cut the filament, which we've already done. And while that's preheating, let's go ahead and remove this door. Put that to the side. And we will unwind this filament and remove it. So this is what Dremel's filament looks like. Now, of course, there's not much left on the spool. But you can see it has the little RFID built into it that tells the 3D printer what type of filament you've loaded into it. Now, of course, the third-party ones do not have that, so you'll see in a moment how we have to configure that. And I've already 3D printed this little stand for the spool because the one kilogram spools do not fit in here. So we'll go ahead and feed this filament up through here. You can see it's coming out right up here. So we'll leave it right there for now. And once this thing finishes preheating, we'll go ahead and feed in this filament. Okay, it is asking to feed the filament. So we'll go ahead and feed it through here. You can see the old filament is already coming out. And it's and it's grabbing. I'll let it do its thing. Press that button there and we'll press done when the new car appears. And we are good. Now you can see it says RFID detecting, but of course, since we don't have Dremel filament in this thing, it's not going to detect anything. It's going to ask us what we installed. So you can see it says filament type not detected. Please select. We'll select PLA. However, I should note that um. With this PLA, it actually prescribes a max of 210 degrees Celsius for the extruder temperature, or the nozzle temperature is going to increase that, or actually going to decrease it to 210. Now this platform, it defaults to 35, I usually run it at like 50. Now PLA, you really don't have to have a heated bed. That's more important for the materials like ABS, but I'm going to increase that to 50, and then we're going to save, and what this does is it saves the settings on the printer, that way when you um, begin printing, it will default off those settings and kind of disregard what your um, G-code tells it to do. Now, I think you can override this and have it actually go by what the G-code prescribes. So that's changing the filament out. And we now have non dremel filament in this thing. Hey everybody. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video from Cuckoo Channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel and be sure to tick the bell so we get notified of new video posts. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. 
leave a comment and share this video as well as the channel with your friends and get the word out. Also, I have a second channel that's Cubed Comp MTDX. Over there you'll find videos about thunderstorms and weather, cycling, and videos about me personally. Feel free to subscribe over there as well if you like. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for your support.